Welcome back to every NES game. I'm Slider, and joined, as usual, by Mangalava. Howdy. This time we're going to be looking at Hillsfar, another advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. Let me start off by saying Hillsfar is a stupid name. Because I know it's entirely literal. It's on a hill far away, hills that are far. Someone got paid to make that name. Uh, I don't even know what to make of this game yet, other than that it's apparently presented by Pony Canyon. Pony yeah. Canyon is a weird Japanese publisher of things. Usually music. No idea why they're involved in this. But why? especially since this is the other game that was made by Westwood. So it's an American, at least West, I don't know if it's definitively American, uh, but a Western made Dungeons & Dragons game, and yet Pony Ken's involved for no reason. I don't get it. Thankfully, I don't get this game either. So, first of all, we start a campsite. Do you want to enter the campsite? Okay, now we're back here, for no reason. Now we just have a character we can automatically use, so I'll just be going with him. So, let's decide to go somewhere else. Okay, that's a map. Now we're on a horse. And then your horse just runs headlong into an incredibly obvious trap. You fall off. It's all good anyway. Thing is, uh, it's really hard to jump unless you go really slowly. Like, the jump is, like, very inconsistent. And slow. So instead of an RPG, it's a jumping game? Nope. Okay, now we're in the city of Hillsfar. How about we go there? That was exciting. Um... This is not how I would normally expect to travel in a town. Why am I so big? Why is it? What is what? This is an interesting town map. Now we could enter a door. We can enter a bunch of doors if you want. Now, now we're inside this place. Explore before we are discovered. Found a locked chest. Try to open it. I have a bunch of ways we can open it. Use physical strength? Mm, doesn't seem to work. We don't have a knock ring. That doesn't work. We don't have any of this stuff, but <laughs> now it's too late to. Yeah, she's telling you to run away! Run away! We can't even not try anymore. We just have to wait for it to fail. Okay, we're running through this. Place. This is apparently one house, according to the map. Found gold in that. Yeah, it looks like fancy-ass house is full of nothing but chests. <laughs> Including empty ones. That is a knock Found a knock ring. Old clothes. Okay. Try to use a healing potion. That's apparently what B does. You know, this is not the most pleasant way to show a slowly moving screen. Yeah, I feel like all these screen flickers are definitely going to give me a nice and especially if it's terrible last time on the floor. I mean, I will say the gameplays are always, they'll seem a little bit more like oh, what I would guard. expect. Oh, yeah. We have to find the exit before time runs out. But the guard, guard just getting in our way. Well, let's, you know, stop you and pick the rock while the dude's here. Well, we can use the knock ring to open this now. A lever that reveals floor plans. 
floor Could traps, that is. Could have been more useful before, you know, had been around the entire place. Good point. No stairs. Oh. Uh, stairs. Let's try to get that. Oh god, two guards. Get away from me. Found the exit. Oh, that was fun. Like, this is slightly more what I'd expect a Dungeons and Dragons video game to look like, but it's the interface is laid out horribly and visually it's a nightmare. Try to open this lock. And, uh, no, let's not. Great music, huh? This is another one I've had to turn down to pretty much off because it's so obnoxiously loud, even at 1%. I'm not sure how you did that, where you can hear it at 1%. It's just, for some reason, this thing is so freaking loud that, you know, when I turn the video player on to even 1% volume, it is still ridiculously loud and I can't hear you or me over it. Huh. Got into another area with more stuff. Keep finding clothes. Oh, wait, what? Well, it's nice that everyone keeps all their old clothes and such. Oh, we found a teleport trap, so we teleported somewhere else. Okay. We're in another ugly building. Yay. The exits can now be found. Why? I don't know. We found garbage! Yay, and that chest, that's totally where you keep your garbage, in the chest. That's, yeah. I'm very confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no idea, like, presumably there's plot somewhere in this town? Oh, huh. Oh, oh, we found someone. He's someone if we pay him, he'll help us with, like, locks and stuff. Huh. I guess this is, this is you starting to assemble a party. It's like, right, first thing we're gonna do, wander around this town, breaking into houses and taking people's stuff out of their chests. Sounds like an RPG to me. Yeah, pretty much. The so classic. now we get a bunch of these things that we can try to use to unlock the little things. You know, we have to get them to match the locks in order to um, un unlock it. Fun. However, okay, here's the problem I had, and I didn't realize this until it was way too late. You can put these upside down, so you can, like, try both sides for all of them. And I didn't realize that, so I couldn't use any of them, so I just failed. You broke all your lockpicks. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, poison gas. Poison gas trap. That's exactly where I what I put in my lock. Yep, now they're all broken. <laughs> we can do nothing now. Well then. And that's when I realized, oh, I can change it. I'm sure this rogue seat is so proud that he signed on with you. He's already feeling so good about this adventure and all the treasure you're not gonna get. This was such a great idea. You have failed to pick the lock. This has been an exciting adventure so far. So, uh... Yeah, you can tell it does weird tr screen transitions, because it has to change where the menus are. 
So we're now in this side of the town. Cool. What else can we find? They're just straight up being a thief. Ooh, a tavern! The Hydra's Den! Oh god. Better call Captain America on this. <laughs> Apparently the Fighters Guild is on the north side of town. It's good information. You can listen to Matt, gossip. You notice a mage in the back of the tavern performing illusions. You can do a lot of things. Give her a beverage. What else can we do? Oh. Core of initials. Have a beverage. Ooh, a wager. <laughs> we won money. Did you just win a drinking contest? Carve initials. Yes. Here's some gossip you think is interesting and fortunate in a foreign language. How do you think it's interesting? Oh, God. What's going on in this tavern? Huge. How about we brag? <laughs> Liars are not welcome in the tavern! <laughs> oh great, we lost well, half our gold! That, that was a fun night out. That was a good idea. Ooh, a mage! Yes, I would like to see a magic trick! Suddenly, we're in the arena! That's the trick! Let's see the left-handed orc. <laughs> Let's play a game! This game is try to figure out how to do anything! This is me just randomly pressing buttons. Can you tell me what's going on? There's, like, okay, there's faint health boys, but I'm just not seeing much. And there's bells in here. Oh. Oh, the running takes commentary is terrible. So, my best guess is that we have to press up or down to block his attacks. <laughs> and I think, uh... God, I don't even know how we attack. And as you can see, we're kind of losing. Press buttons and wait to see what happens. Yeah. Oh wait, I did a thing somehow. I did it again! There, I did it. I won! Somehow. Yay? Yay. You wish to fight again? No! <laughs> Get me out of here. Ooh, I found the fighter's guild. That's cozy. Talk to the master. Huh, what should we do? Rest for a while. Now it's 3 a.m. Cool. Apparently we're not worthy. We must at master the art of archery. Okay. Basically don't hobo it up in our guild till you can fire a bow and arrow. Apparently. And now I've gone through the whole town. What a stupid game. That was... Weird, that was just visually really, really painful. Oh my god. <sighs> All I can think of to describe is that it looks like what throwing up or hungover feels like. Sounds about right. <laughs>